Hey, Zach here from digitalconstructive.com, and in this video, we're going to be talking about how to pass your C8 license exam. Now, the C8 concrete contractor license exam is going to be broken up into a few different sections, including planning and estimating, pre placement preparation, placing and finishing, post placement tasks, and safety. And if you're unfamiliar with the C8 license, we've got a previous video that breaks down the license in whole. This video is going to explain primarily the examination. Now, as is the case with all California contractor license C classifications, you'll also have to pass the CSLB law and business exam. That'll include sections on business organization, business finances, employment requirements, bonds, insurance, and liens, contract requirements and execution, licensing requirements, safety, and there'll be a portion on public works. So essentially, the exam will be two portions, 115 questions of law and business and 115 questions covering concrete. It'll be multiple choice, closed book, you'll get three hours to complete each section, it's going to be computerized, and you'll take the exam at a CSLB testing facility. So if you're applying from out of state, keep in mind that you will need to come to California to take the exam. Now we've got a free guide that breaks down the entire licensing process from A to Z. It's a free guide, you'll see it up here in the right hand corner, there's sample questions, how to fill out the application, it'll answer a lot of questions for you. Now, the concrete specialty portion of the examination is going to be extremely important. You're going to need to answer questions based on a variety of different areas within the concrete trade, including classification of mixes, admixtures, reinforcement, demolition grading and excavation, formwork, placing concrete, finishing and curing, repairs, accessibility, architecture scale, estimating, and of course, as with all California contractor licenses, you know, safety is going to be a big portion of it too. Now, the mathematics that you'll want to be familiar with are going to include applied math, so your addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. You'll want to be familiar with calculating square footage, the different units of measurement, and of course, job costing and estimation is always going to be a huge portion of the exam. Now, preparing for your exam is definitely going to require that you're familiar with California law and business. You want to make sure that you have your uh, solid, you know, trade-specific fundamentals. You'll want to see a variety of the different possible questions that could come up. California health and safety is a huge part of the exam. California takes, you know, workers' rights, job site safety, environmental laws extremely, extremely seriously. So you'll want to make sure that you're familiar with this coming into the exam, especially if you're applying from out of state. You'll want to have your fundamental math skills, so you'll want to be familiar with the common equations and different formulas. Test taking experience is huge. Flashcards can be extremely helpful. And not only just practice tests online, but explanations to each question, um, answer explanations that give you a little bit more insight. And walkthroughs of the exam with licensed contractors and lawyers that can help you decipher the language and not only understand how to pass the test, but how to run a successful contracting business in California. Our program includes all of this. Just want to thank you for watching. If you're looking for a complete C8 concrete contractor licensing program, uh, you can check out the link that appears. If you have any questions at any point, drop them uh, in the comment section below. Feel free to like and subscribe to our channel. And again, this is Zach from digitalconstructive.com. And thanks again for watching.